Looks like you're back in the... Always a pleasure. Of course. Everyone in the city's getting checked right now, and I need papers to get into Tierville. I heard there's a guy who does papers in the North neighborhood, but the place is a real dump. So be careful. There's lots of gangs, and they ain't nice. Thanks. I'll see what I can do. Marco doesn't agree. I know we'll need you. Like you needed innocence. Please, hear me out. You can't imagine how sorry I am about his arrest, but he wanted to take part in the attack. I think maybe we can help him escape when they decide to execute him. With your help, I'm sure we can do it. You know how important our ideas are to him. Marco didn't welcome you right, and he's still suspicious of you, but he's not the only one who makes decisions around here. Let's save him together, and then you can join us. We'll leave for Green Hope as soon as we free him. We hope we can weaken the Technomancers there. That girl looks like she really believes what she's saying. But who is she? That's Judy, one of the leaders of the Resistance. They're the people who are fighting against the politics here, and especially against the omnipotence of the Technomancers. But you're one, and so am I. Do they hate us? Maybe we should say no. Once they've used us, they'll surely kill us. I swear that won't happen. You're not like the ones who rule us. We're crushing the people of Aurora. All right, I'll join you if you do everything you can to get Innocence out. Thank you, Roy. Here, Innocence left his diary at the HQ. I think he'd prefer you to have it. There must be a way to stop them. We've got to get him out of there. Judy, we tried everything. We even thought about an all-out attack, but look at that. Those bastards have a machine gun. They must know we're here. We can't just stand here. We never thought they'd bring out something like that. The second we get in the yard, we're dead meat. That's exactly what they're expecting. I'm sorry. Oh, lend us an ear, boys, lend us an ear To the whispers of dead who've been wronged Oh, lend us a tear, girls, lend us a tear We're the last to give voice to their song The walls of Aurora Fire! like drums stretch before us We rise to their glorious beat So pick up your blades and sharpen your courage Until they know defeat I've read this diary that Innocence kept, which Judy's given to me. Everything he went through since he got to camp is in it. His story's touching, even if I realize he didn't understand just how much his pity was wasted on the bastards we came across. He talked about the people he met, what we did, he even wrote whole pages on what I did since he started following Marco. I knew the Resistance had good sources, but I didn't think he'd hear about me helping the craftsman clean out his workshop. Nor that Mary and Tenacity were with me now. In fact, I was a bit embarrassed to realize that I was the hero of the book. Maybe that's why I feel kind of obliged to keep it going. Because even if he's dead, a hero, and a martyr, the story is far from over.
We're here. Greenhope. You know, it's not that different from what I've seen in other places. The dusty old hydroponics farm, crumbling under the wind and the war. When you think of everyone who died here for this. What a miserable place. The name hardly reflects its condition. Yeah, it's pretty sad. Lots of people died here, taking it or defending it. It was a real slaughterhouse. But we can't stay here. Marco's waiting for us in the eastern part of the town. We have to move. get Innocence's last moments out of my head. I feel so guilty. But, I'm sorry. I know you've got more on your mind than my feelings. What can I do for you? I wanted to know... What's Marco's problem with me? Marco lost his family in the Technomancer's jail. Like all of us. Of course, that's not really a good enough reason, but... He can be very hard. He doesn't forgive easily, and basically for him, all Technomancers are executioners. If you want my opinion, it's mostly because he's completely paranoid, and he's scared of losing his place as head of the Resistance, or of being in someone else's shadow. If that's what you think, why ask me? You're not like him. You get along well anyway? It's true we don't always agree on things, but we do have the same vision, Roy. And that vision is far more important than our differences. Yeah, I understand. How did you become part of the Resistance? I didn't get here by chance, anyway. It was a choice. My choice. When I got back from the war, I saw what was going on here, and I didn't wait a second. I got together with my former war buddies, who were as angry as me, and we made ourselves a little cell. Then Marco got in touch with us, so we could join forces. You know the rest. So you started a cell on your own? That takes guts. Thank you, Roy. But in fact, I couldn't do anything else. I would have gone crazy if I didn't do something. He wasn't with you long, but... I'd like you to tell me what he did while he was here. I'd love to. Right at the start, Marco asked him to carry messages. Sounds easy, but it can be dangerous. He did really well. He got fake IDs to groups being hunted by the Technomancers, couriered authorizations, and even resistance tracks. What else did he do? Marco ended up trusting him and recognized his bravery. He asked him to infiltrate the military base. We needed to contact certain soldiers without being seen. And he's how we learned about the train, too. Even if I almost regret it. I really liked him, Roy. He was both fragile and full of strength. He wore his name well, which is not something you see too often. Thanks for telling me all that, Judy. It's good to hear what he did with you and that he was among friends. Did you ever go to Greenhope? No. During the war, I wasn't in the sector. And before, well, that was abundance. Heard what happened here, of course, but I guess you know as much as me. I never met a woman like you before. So full of passion. So beautiful. I... I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> but, um, thank you, Roy. I don't know if I'm beautiful or not, but as for the passion, that part's true. And I think I'm kind of proud of it. But what are you telling me that for? It's what I think, that's all. And I felt like saying it. I... Thank you. 
really appreciate it. You're not that bad either. But I don't think this is really the place to talk about that kind of thing, is it? I wanted to ask you, 